Um, there's the elf book. The elf book? Uh -huh. and what do you think that means? It means we're, we have to find the elf. Yeah? Now let's go find it. Okay. What does that say? It says the elf on the shelf. Maybe we'll have to read that in a little bit. This shelf? Is it on this shelf? Hmm. That would have been a clever idea. So where is he? We still have to find him. Keep looking. Come on, Mom. We will be scared. Let's just get you in this one. What? What? He doesn't have to be on a shelf. He could be anywhere. I don't think he's in here, but he's somewhere else. Hmm. Up, up, up. Oh, I see him! <laughs> there he is, sneaky elf. Sneaky elf? Yeah, maybe a little too sneaky. Hello, Mr. Elf. Do you remember what we named him last year? No. I don't remember. But why is he not talking? But I was trying to talk back to him and he did not talk to him. That's what the rules are. Santa says he can't talk. Why? I don't know. Santa's rules. Gotta obey the rules. Mm. Oh. Uh-oh! Yeah. Uh -oh. So, what is he here for? I don't know. He's here to report back to Santa if you're naughty or nice. So Santa knows. I do want to tell me no lie. Yeah, like that song. Come on what? Where are you going? So it's December 1st and I am really excited because I have like a couple of things that I want to be doing throughout the month. So I'm really excited about that. Our elf is here and he's back from last year. We did him last year. I think I have some videos up um, from last year's elf on the shelf. And I'm also doing a Christmas advent calendar, so we'll get to that later. I know, where is it? It's hiding under the snow. You like your pockets? So you know, when you want to print something at your house, at your home printer, and it doesn't work because this happens every single time you try to use your printer. That's what happened last night to me. I wanted to print up some stuff for my advent calendar and my printer. I even like went and got, come on guys. I even went and got um, some new ink because it was out of ink. It just doesn't work. It's just not working. It doesn't like me. Over here at BYU, just to use their printing stuff, and Katie oh. met us here. Oh. Hey. Yay. Hey, baby. Aunt Katie. Hey. How That's are a you? cute hat and jacket. That's one of your roommate's jackets? Uh -uh. Oh, it's actually her jacket. It's not even one of her roommates. <laughs> okay, my prints turned out okay. I don't like the best, but that's okay. And Katie stole my kids, but here they are. Where'd you guys go? I was so worried. Where's Porter? Oh. I don't know. It's okay, we'll sleep here. <gasps> what? <laughs> there you are. Should we go to Costco? Fine. Do you need anything at Costco? No. My back is my back is What do you got there? Um, hot chocolate. Are we gonna have some? Uh huh. Yay! I we went to Target yesterday and I've been meaning to figure out our Christmas cards. We didn't do Christmas cards last year, um, so this year I wanted to do some and. But I don't want to go overkill. I don't want to like spend a million bucks. When I was at Target, I just saw like these packages of Christmas cards for like seven dollars each for a 16 pack. And so I got two of them and I'm just calling it good. There's the Christmas cards and then today I got printed some of our family pictures that we took. I'm just going to insert these into the card. Bought random Christmas cards. I just chose them. Normally I spend like hours agonizing over which Christmas card is the cutest. Boom, boom, bang, done. I'm just gonna like bust it out. And then earlier today also, I put like new bed skirts on the kids' beds. It looks so much better. Just like getting the kids' room done before the baby comes is important to me. Yeah. And then right now, we're gonna have our very first cup of hot chocolate with each other. Piper, what are you doing? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got some little um, like window gooeys. <laughs> They're like a reindeer and Santa and some um, snowflakes. So she really likes those, but I don't think they're gonna last very long. 
So another fun thing, we came home to a note on our door that was from um, the primary presidency for our, the church that we go to, the, like the little kids classes. And they brought by a couple candy canes for the kids and this cute calendar, a cute little calendar to help us remember to do nice things for people every day, to light the world this December. And so I was just asking the kids what they thought um, would be a good way to serve today because today's December 1st is I will serve others today. So Porter, what do you think, what were you saying we could do to serve others today? Um, helping Carter do some of these. Oh yeah, you were, he was saying it'd be really fun to give Carter, our friend across the street, a Christmas card. Piper, what do you want to do to serve somebody today? Mermaid? Yeah. Oh, good idea. Mermaid. Happy 1st of December! So, our first day of December was just wonderful. Everything went so perfect. The Elf on the Shelf was awesome. We did the first day of our advent calendar where we read scriptures and the kids sat quietly and we listened, they listened and we talked about Jesus and how he's the real meaning of Christmas. And I got out the nativity thing that I just bought and the kids loved playing with the, nat the nativity. And we did the craft that went along with my advent calendar and it was just a beautiful, perfect first day of December. Guys, come on. That is not what happened. I didn't even have time to do like a portion of what I really wanted to do. I was running around trying to get Christmas cards done and advent calendar things. I haven't even finished my advent calendar. In fact, I'm not even going to be doing 25. I was going to do 25 days of Christ leading up to Christmas and I've cut that down to 12 because I'm not, I don't have it ready. So I'm still like gathering the things for it. No, our first day of December was not picture perfect, but it was still really fun and I'm still really excited for December and things like that. And the Elf on the Shelf was really fun. Porter really loves, um, finding our elf, Ted. We've named him Ted. For those of you who see um, vloggers like me or bloggers who just have these like perfect little holiday plans and everything goes perfect, it doesn't. Things don't go perfectly all the time and that's okay. We still had a great day. Just seriously, I want to just do everything, you know? There's just too much and you can't do it all and that's okay. <laughs> it's totally okay and I have many years, my kids are young, we have more kids coming and these traditions that I, I want to do so badly, they can come with time. I've come to terms with that and I'm trying to just enjoy um, Christmas, the season and if you haven't heard of the, um, the Mormon church, the LDS church, they're doing a campaign um, called Light the World, I believe, and I'll, I'll share some links below. So if you need something in your holiday season to just slow you down and give your family some a little bit more meaning to the season, um, rather than just all the presents and the rushing around, um, I'll link the, they have like a calendar that you can do um, different things every day to really help spread the light of Christ and just the true meaning of Christmas. So I'll, t I'll link those below, um, if not somewhere on the screen. And I think doing things like that helps you to really slow the season down as well because it already, it just goes so fast. And for me, the most important thing is making sure that my kids know that Christmas is about Jesus Christ and his mission here on the earth, everything he's done for us. And so if I can help them to feel the love that Christ and our Heavenly Father have has for them, then the Christmas season would have been successful. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please leave me any comments, any questions you guys have down below. Be sure to check out um, LDS.org and their campaign, Light the World, because it's really great and it can help your Christmas feel a little bit more uh, Christmassy, I think. Um, and again, don't forget to like this video if you liked any part of it, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!